What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Swole Hole, baby. Welcome back to Gym Simulator 24. We are back here for episode two. Episode one was a week ago, and they've already updated this game quite a bit. So uh, we actually lost our save file, unfortunately. I pretty much have us back to where we were. I actually think we might be in a little bit better shape. So, uh, you know, our, our gym is here. We've got some equipment upgrades we're going to have to do. We did just reach a good level for new equipment. And I also reorganized the locker rooms a little bit. So now I have changing rooms and then lockers one by one with a second trash at the end. And we also painted the girls' locker room pink. And then over here on the guys' side, exact same mirrored, but it's blue. I think we're going to be adding some saunas today. We're going to be upgrading all of our equipment, getting rid of the old, tired, boring stuff, and uh, hopefully even potentially moving into an expansion and stuff. But um, yeah, so I, I guess this has been received really well on Steam. The first video did really well. Thank you guys for the love and support. I love that I could play random stuff like this. But uh, you could see they've even added... Um, you know, upcoming features. So they're going to be adding a boxing training area, group workouts, upper floor customization, home customization, hunger and fatigue, multiplayer workouts. So we have a, a lot to look forward to. There's going to be a, you know, this might be kind of a long series where we slowly build up over time, but uh, here we go. Daniel, welcome. Normal membership. Welcome to uh, to the squad, the, the Swole Squad, I guess we could call it. I, I don't even know if we had this before. We now can see everybody's membership, so like the back end's a little bit better. We even have new staff we can hire. So before, there was just one guy you could hire. He was only a cleaner. Now you can hire cleaners, mechanics, all kinds of stuff. So we've got $5,000 right now. Overall, I've been doing a pretty good job of keeping up with the cleaning. It can get a little bit overwhelming at times, but... Um, for now, I think we're going to try to save our money and, and work on upgrading things. As always, the girls are just leaving their clothes all over the place. It's weird. Even in this new update, I swear the girls are messier than the guys, but I guess it is what it is. Strapped up with the Axe Body Spray. Gonna have it smelling like a middle school gym in here. Whoever gets stinky, boom, I got you. We're just gonna kind of grind a little bit here. It's a brand new day, so I want to get our money up a bit. And uh, I don't know, I'm excited. We've got a lot of new equipment we can add in. I want to really organize the gym. This is going to be our weights area. This is our cardio area. That's obviously our kind of yoga, mat work, Pilates type area. I did move the TV over here for this new one. We had that girl that was stuck on the TV, so I wanted to try to avoid that from ever happening again. And uh, yeah, things are looking good, but there's some upgrades to be done. They've even made it so we have a second panini press here. Oh, we've got a, a stinker alert. All right, we're, we're going we're gonna to grab this. We've actually got two of them. Uh, girl, you smell... And, bro, you, you hit it pretty hard, too. Took care of business. We've got a couple of new potential clients here. Let's see if we can get these guys set up. Dude, it would be awesome if at some point we could, you know, hire trainers that then, you know, get people to come in because they want to work with certain trainers. We could get celebrity trainers and stuff. Like, it, uh, it could be pretty cool. Actually, I kind of want a bit of chaos here. So, we're going to go into the advertiser. Let's place... Maybe we can't place three ads, but we do have two ads up now. Come to the swole hole where you're going to get your fitness goals filled up. Okay, we're not going to take it there. How you doing, ma'am? Little protein shake. There you go. All right. Looking like the bikes might be in high demand. That might be something that we want to invest in. We've got enough money right now, I believe. Let's go into our equipment. So I really want to get the, the three tier, the three star equipment. So I guess we've got a three star bike here, $1,600 and we've got a brand new bike. So let's set this thing up. I need to think about how I want to organize all this. We need to make sure it's far enough away that people have space to be able to walk through. But um, yeah, I'm thinking definitely a, a bike area here. I don't really know what to do with, I almost feel like we could maybe move the rower over here. Because we could have two rows of treadmills and then two rows of bikes. We need to organize this area a little bit better too. Let's re-rack these weights. Come on, man. If you're going to the gym, you got you to gotta rack your weights. Got a new customer over here. See what you're doing. I feel like when I was grinding my way back up, because again, we lost our save file. It was kind of unfortunate. I had to pay, play for a bit to catch us back up. But I feel like we were getting a lot of, uh, a lot of, what's it called? Did we... Oh, they're cheering each other on. We've got emojis for our customers now. We've got people wanting paninis, all kinds of stuff. Shoot. I have kind of made it a personal rule that I always leave a panini after I sell one. So it, there's always one ready. We, we should kind of keep that up. So see, you, you grab another one, put it in there, and then it's going to be ready to go the next time somebody walks in. It is a little bit weird that you can see the showers 
from inside the gym, but the sauna has to go back in that back section, or I think this back section back here, you don't have a choice of where that goes. So just in terms of layout, it kind of made sense. We're just going to pretend like you can't have any peeping toms or anything. Look at him. He loves it. We didn't have the emojis before. Bro, you are looking ripped. My goodness, look at those glutes. Who leaves the barbell over the bench like that? What we need to do, and I've, I've kind of struggled with, I think the first person we're going to hire is a mechanic because keeping up with the the maintenance of the equipment is, is kind of a big deal, especially some of the higher trafficked items like the treadmills. These are both three-star treadmills, but I feel like they fall into a state of disrepair pretty quickly. Make sure we get all that. Looks like we've got a guy with a... A stench problem. Axe body spray. I'll solve that real quick. I truly think that might be the most horrendous smell on earth is stinky man masked with Axe body spray. Like that. there's genuinely nothing worse. I have no clue how Axe was ever popular because it smells so terrible. VIP membership. That's what I'm talking about. So we get $1,100 up front and then he's going to pay us two seventy five dollars for I think most of the memberships go for like three to four days. So that, I mean, that's, that's, Two thousand plus dollars total that he's going to be paying right there. The money is starting to come in. This feels good, and it's it's a good thing because we've got a lot of expensive upgrades coming soon. Low class membership. That's all right. Welcome. Everybody's welcome, no matter what your level of fitness or finance. We appreciate you and your business. And I'm just trying to line my bank account with what used to be in yours. Got a couple of protein shakes over here. These always do really well. Go ahead and fill up the machine. Haven't retouched any of these in a while. These get a lot of use. Honestly, if anything, we might want to invest in a couple more of these. You can't fix things if people are on them. So you just got to kind of constantly run around and make sure you're keeping an eye on stuff. Look at that. The dumbbells weren't in the best shape. I'm going to put another advertisement up. I haven't ever done this many advertisements, but we're going to go for it. That's going to be this building up there. We almost... Let's just go for the whole street. What's, what's the big one at the end? I'm assuming it's this one. Let's place it. All right. There we go. The entire street. We are taking over, baby. Nobody's ever going to be able to beat the swole hole. Just got to make sure our equipment is always in ship shape. Got to make sure that if somebody walks in, they're going to be able to get the machine that they want. They aren't being assaulted in the nostrils by these sweaty people. I mean, I'm, I'm glad people are getting a good workout in. I'm not going to judge you. It's a good thing you're going to the shower. I appreciate that. Got a couple of protein shakes here. Got to get your protein in, huh, boys? You're looking, you're looking jacked. All right, there you go. Got to go in here. We got the girlies just throwing their, their clothes on the ground. Is this a thing? Like, I, I haven't I haven't had a gym membership in a long time. I love my home gym. I spend so much time in there. But is, is this a thing that people just leave, like, their pants and shirts and stuff? I would imagine sometimes, you know, lost and found type situation. But I, I feel like there's not this much dirty laundry. Maybe if it was, like, towels, like, sweat towels that the gym provided or something. This seems a little bit ridiculous. I can't even pick it up fast enough before they... They add more. Oh my goodness. Look at all the people. And we've got a line up at the computer, baby. Let's go. VIP membership. Yes, sir. At some point, we're probably going to have to make it so we only accept VIP. I don't know if that's an option. Standard. I'll still take your money. Honestly, I take it back. The name is, is just sheer numbers. Get as many people on that list as possible because most of them aren't going to show up anyway. So it doesn't matter if you're paying me 200 bucks a month or 50 bucks a month. Likelihood of you showing up isn't very high. Although in this game, I feel like everybody actually comes and works out pretty hard. Almost to level seven. Really excited about that because we're going to be able to get the sauna. I think you got to go to gym, locker room. Yeah, the sauna. So we could put one in for 4,000. You can get a double, but you can't get that to level nine. I'm excited about this, dude. I, I want a sauna so bad. They're so expensive. I have a feeling they probably have a lot of maintenance and stuff. There's also a spa option on the other side. Okay, so we might... We might have to adjust our uh, adjust our locker setup a little bit. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to squeeze in there, but we'll see. Let me make sure we get the stinky people. You are ruining the experience of our other guests. Was there anybody in here? No. We also get XP for that. Shoot, I just put it down. Let me grab you as well. Got you. Let me take care of these people. Oh my goodness, this is starting to get ridiculous. I love games like this, though. Put this... Put this back on there, shut that, give you a protein shake. We got a couple people to check in, three people lining up. Dude, the money is printing right now. Your boy loves those blue faces. Keep giving me these VIP memberships. VIP, double VIP. Can we go three in a row? Do we need to start reinvesting in equipment here soon? 
we're gonna end up not being able to keep up. Look at that, three VIPs in a row. That is what I'm talking about. Now we probably should go around. I don't know if what's more important, probably keeping the equipment up and running. I would imagine that the dirtiness of the gym is also important, but we gotta make sure people can actually work out. And I'm thinking we might be at the point where we need to hire a little bit of help because this is getting ridiculous. If we can get $16,000, we'll be able to build both a spa and a, a sauna in each male and female bathroom. There it is. We unlocked the vending machine. The boxing club is unlocked. You can find it in the pub. I don't think the boxing club is actually here yet, though. It says in the pause screen, the boxing training area is an upcoming feature. So we're gonna hold off on that, but we are gonna add, oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I, I I think we might be at the spot where unless I'm constantly just running around like a chicken with my head cut off, there's no way we're gonna be able to keep up. Can we, can we hire a shooter? Just somebody who just solely grabs this and, and gets after people? God, that is disgusting. Imagine somebody's just, the smell is, you know, they've got an aura around them as you're trying to get it on the bike. That would not be fun. All right, more people. I'm gonna focus on taking the money first. My goodness, dude, I feel like we hardly keep up here. I feel like I'm one of those auction guys just jibber jabbering. The gym dirtiness is, is starting to get out of control. I just feel like, you know, nobody's ever gonna do it as good as you do. No, no employee is ever gonna take it as personally as the owner. So part of me doesn't wanna give up that little bit of, of control and, and, you know, willingness to have a lesser job done. At the same time, I'm also just trying to save as much money as possible so we can try to get that spa put in because I feel like that's gonna be a huge draw to people. We do have 100% reputation right now, so trying to keep that up. Every time somebody walks out of the gym is when we get paid for the day, I believe for their day rate. So we just need a couple more people to walk out. It's usually like a hundred to $200 a person. So he's out. Looks like these guys are switching sides, but he might be out. Our, oh, one, one more and we're gonna be able to buy these. We honestly probably could start on one side. We'll add the second side after. Let's, let's start with the girls. Of course, the ladies come first. So we're gonna go in gym, female locker room. We're gonna add a spa for $4,000. Gonna check Lily Young in. There you go, Lily. You are our newest member. She heard about the spa package. She said, I'm in. I'm not here to work out. I'm here to get my sweat on. Hey, it's it's still a really good workout. So we've, we've got that. And then we're also gonna add the sauna. All right. So let's go take a look at these. Sorry, ladies. Not trying to be inappropriate. Just trying to make sure that you can get in there. Do you need to be able to actually walk in there? I don't know if people are gonna be able to walk in there. We're gonna have to keep an eye on that. This looks nice. Okay, so we're gonna have this whole wall set up with things. Can they get in there? They can. All right, good news. So it's gonna be a bit unsightly, but that's all right. Let me grab our spray here. I won't sell to stinky people. Bam, there you go. All right, now you can have your protein. We got that. We also want a panini. You go ahead and take that panini. Let's fill up our machine. Let's get this thing rolling so it's ready for the next time. Nobody really wants a cold panini, but they don't complain in this game, so why not have it pre-made? Gym dirtiness is at 10%, which is a bit concerning. There's a, a point where it's gonna be bad for you. Like, it, it's always better to try to save money, but if, if the dirtiness starts getting up, then our reputation's gonna go down, and we're gonna end up losing money in the long run when we should have just hired employees and, and, you know, branched out earlier, so. Got to be careful with that. Oh, we've got some equipment that's down. See, this this is where it starts to get a little sketch. I think we could make it through today. It's 5 p.m. We made it through the, the you know, 5 o'clock rush. People are getting off work. We're going to clean up, and then tomorrow we're going to start with a fresh hire. Very excited about that. Honestly, I mean, with the amount of money we have coming in here, we can just hire the best of the best and not even worry about it. A couple of protein shakes there. Make sure we're keeping our equipment up to date. Today was a good day. We gotta, we gotta buy the, the spawn thing for the guys though. Sauna and let's go for the spa as well. Okay, so at level nine, we're gonna be able to upgrade to, to two in each. Had full on breakdowns of the treadmills. This is what we're trying to avoid. We're still at 100% rating, so that's good. But we're not gonna stay there for long if we don't be careful. Dude, that was a ridiculous day with four billboards too, or three, three, I guess. Oh my goodness. So hopefully... It kind of seems like maybe every couple days we should do something like that. We should, you know, do a ton of advertising, get some new clients, and then run those clients for a few days while they're in their uh, membership period and then do it again to get more clients after we, we drop down again.
I think we're in good shape. It says we're a 1% dirty gym. I think there's a piece of clothing back here, but we can't get to that unless you delete these. So that's, that's unfortunate, but it's just going to have to be, be what it is. All right. We're looking good. That, I do believe, is the end of another great day. Gonna own this city sooner or later, baby. I'm gonna be buying the penthouse up there and coming down to work every day. But, uh, all right, so we've got $7,000. Let's take a look at what it's gonna cost us. Daily salary for Thomas is $1,400. Daily salary for Tuckin is 1000 Bro, looks like Jason Momoa. Um... I'm thinking, so 2400 a day, I think that's going to be worth it. They're the fastest cleaners and mechanics that we have. We're going to give our guests the best service possible, and then we can kind of focus on what we're doing. So I'm going to wait to hire them until the morning. It wouldn't make sense to hire them right now. So we need $2,400 left over. If we go back, we could take a look at some of the equipment that we can buy. Definitely going to want, so we have one of these. Let's get a functional trainer. Let's get, we already have the big barbells. Let's get a better bench press. And now all of a sudden we don't have enough money for the guys that we want to hire, but that's fine because we'll make enough in the morning. So I'm going to, let's see, let's think about how we want to set this up. I'm going to pick this up, pick this up. I don't even know if I'm going to put the small dumbbells back. Let's put the, the big dumbbells right here. Pick up the, the baby bench. Let's pick up this baby thing. I mean, we, we should try to keep the old equipment out too because why not? I don't really know how I want to set this up, to be honest. I don't want people to be stepping on each other. But I also want to keep these machines kind of in the same place-ish. So we're going to have that there. Probably put the nice bench next to that. Maybe we'll put, like, the premium equipment in one area and the, the worst equipment in another. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really sure what the best method is. But I definitely don't want it to feel cramped. We have a lot of open space in the middle that we can use. But I also feel like that just kind of interrupts the flow. We could have a second row of machines for sure. I'm going to take this and I'm going to I'm going to put it over here. We're going to put this right like that. Uh, we're going to add some more bikes tomorrow when we can. We're going to try to add the nice ones, though. We could add another pull down machine here. We could put the the tiny dumbbells next to the big dumbbells. I don't know if we want to put them in front of the door. Does that does that work? Can we do that? Can we still open and close the doors? It's not going to let us do it yet. We. We might just have to cut the corner a little bit there. It's fine. I think it'll let us. And then we've got another bench that we could... I mean, I'm just going to put it in front of it, I guess. We don't really have a choice. I'd rather have more equipment than not and, and you know, give people more options of whatever workouts they want to hit. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to make sure each and every one of these is good to go. Probably could buy a little bit of bread from the supermarket on the way home. Can we close this yet? We can until 9 p.m. Let's grab a little bit of bread. Before everything shuts down, maybe some more water and protein powder for our shakes. And apart from that, I, I think we're in a good spot. Grab some waters here. All this is so cheap and we can sell it for so much money and XP. It's kind of ridiculous. Awfully convenient that that's so close too. So we can restock the fridge here. Looks good. I think we might have... Nope, we've got two two spots left. That's all right. Got to leave the paninis here because somebody's going to eat them tomorrow. It's all good. All right. Shut up shop at 9 p.m. And uh, we are going to go home. Another solid day of work. It's really starting to come together. Our hard work is... Uh, is oh, I forgot about this. We can adopt dogs now. They added a dog thing. Um, let's, let's wait and see the pups in the morning. Sorry, guys. You can keep sleeping in the street for now. To be honest, I don't really have much of a home to come down to or to... to come home to, uh, to, to take care of you. So we've got a, a little spotted boy. We can adopt him. We've got kind of a little pug looking boy. We've got, it's kind of hard to see, but it looks kind of like a pit mix maybe. And then of course we've got a German shepherd here. I think I would go German shepherd. Let's go for it. Adopt, enter a name. I'm going to say, uh, let's go, let's go Cooper. Why not? Who's a good boy Cooper? Can we get all of them? Do I have to buy dog food? He, he follows me. He looks like a wolf. Look at how big he is. He's either massive or I'm really, really short. Short kings, it's, you know, it's all good. Honestly, as, uh, you know, a gym goer, it's better to be short, right? I think you could put on muscle a little bit easier. Look at the size of this guy. Okay, you know what? You just sit in the street and you wait for me and I'll come back after work, all right? I probably shouldn't have left you this week, but it's fine. We, we got to get these doors open. We got to hire some friends. We, we got to get things going. We need $400 and we can hire our... Uh, or what's it called? Our 
uh, companions. Probably gonna have a bit slower of a day today. You could see our ads have already disappeared. We spent nine or twelve thousand dollars. They're already gone. This is Las Vegas sphere material. So definitely gonna want to save up and do that again. Looks like we've got Mabel coming in for a VIP membership. That's what I'm talking about. You heard about the new sauna in the spa. That is definitely changing the game for us. We've got $3,100 already. Let's go for it. I'm going to hire some staff. We're going to go for Thomas. He's on the way. As well as Tukan is on the way as well. Thomas, how you doing, sir? Thank you. I really appreciate you coming in. Looking spiffy, my man. I really like the purple uh, janitor outfit. And then we've got Tukan here. Looking awfully, I, I think a lot of the girls are going to like coming in and, and you know, uh, Jason Momoa Aquaman status out here. Hopefully I don't find him in the this spa room because I, I think he'd be doing something different. Oh, we can, we can fill with dog food and water. All right. That makes sense. Coop, come on. Let's, uh, let's not sit. Okay. There you go. And then can we get dog food from the supermarket? Dinky D meat and veggies. It's five bucks. I'm just going to load up on this so that we don't have to come back later. Let's buy, oh, he's, he's in the store with me. All right, would you, would you like to pick out something? That was one of my favorite videos that we did, taking Koopa Koda into a pet store and letting him pick out whatever they want. So we've got kind of some uh, nice meaty food there for you. You, you hang out. I'm going to give you the, the set command, give you a nice little pet. I got to go into work, bud. It's funny, we just bought a treadmill like three or four weeks ago, and the guy had a, a puppy in there that was jumping all over us. It definitely... Gave Chell's puppy fever, but okay. Well, you're not, you're not listening. So we're, we're going to ask you to come outside. We might have some people that don't like giant wolf dogs. So please sit here. Don't make me regret adopting you. I could put you back out on the street as soon as you came in. Just kidding. I love you, buddy. All right. What do we have here? Welcome Fabian to the swole hole VIP membership. I think we're going to have a lot more VIPs coming in. I think we're going to see this, this money going up pretty dramatically. We've got, I'm going to call him Fabio here. I feel like Fabio is a better name. We've got him going in and, and getting to work on the cleaning. Looks like we are not doing preventative maintenance on the machines. Either that or just nobody's been in here. Is there any machine that needs to be? Okay, maybe not. Maybe he's keeping up with it. Okay, I certainly hope so. That's for sure. Maybe we could hire somebody to run this counter as well at some point. I just love games like this where you slowly but surely grow and hire people and delegate and and get to run a business like this this is already better than than a week ago so hopefully it keeps growing i am kind of excited because we've got some other gym upgrades we could do here so we can i think at level eight we can get a glass ceiling pretty excited about that gonna keep the modern for now but the glass would be nice i don't know how that's gonna work once we can go upstairs then we also have different front sides wouldn't mind going for the glass front side. Definitely feel like that's going to attract more people. They're going to be able to see in there. We could also get a better reception. Uh, 1500 bucks for luxury reception. I'll take it. It's the only other option. We've got a legitimate desk here. Better spot for our axe body spray. Ooh, look at him. You see, dude's a lady killer. Just moonwalking across the gym here. Come on, man. Save some for the rest of us. Let me spritz you up real quick. Look at this. She sweat, got stinky, and he was already there taking care of it. Never. Oh, I didn't think she had a shirt on for a second. I was going to be really worried. This is light work now. We don't even have to do it. Look, look at how hard he's working. And of course, I think you're going to find him in that bathroom a lot. Just taking care of business in there, cleaning things out, if you know what I mean. How you doing, Victoria? Coming in for the low class membership. All right, you're not going to get spa or uh, sauna privileges. Keep that in mind. If I find you in the sauna, you're getting kicked out. It would be kind of cool if you could have tiered memberships for stuff like that. I'd love to be a part of a big luxury gym, but I'm not spending that kind of money. Let's get the, the three-star stationary bikes. I'm going to get two of those and then maybe another three-star tread. Set these up in the same spots. Probably could go with a little bit more advertising to... Ooh, I don't know where we're going to put our next treadmill. We're going to start running out of space is the, the problem. But I guess that means that we're just going to have to expand to the space next door for $25,000 at level eight. Looks like it's pretty much the same thing, but, you know, I don't know if we're going to be able to blow this wall out. Is it, can, can we open it up to one big area or is it, is it just going to be straight up second gym that you just do the same thing at? This one doesn't have the juice bar though. 
I think it's got bathrooms back there. Interesting. VIP membership for Taylor. Appreciate you. And then we've got uh, Eric coming in. VIP. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you for being a part of the Swole family. And Cooper is being super annoyed. I... I Really regret this, Coop. I'm gonna give you a pet and please stay outside. Just got a giant wolf running. I guess he could kind of be our mascot, but he's getting in the way a little bit. Again, she took me by surprise. This is inappropriate clothing. You are distracting my other patrons. Please think about what you're wearing tomorrow. Just kidding. You can wear whatever you want. I'm kind of enjoying it. So let's let's go ahead and uh, sell these here. And look at this, dude. New equipment's already being used. Holy cow. This is absolutely outrageous we have a fully functioning gym we've got fabio here picking up all the the clothes off the ground too that's probably the most annoying part of this if we could hire a receptionist at some point i could just sit back relax and watch the money roll in. this is great we're making money we're watching people improve themselves i actually feel like for like a basic steam game this doesn't look that bad like, these are all individual movements and things. I mean, it's it's not, I'm not going to pretend like it's great, but people are all actually out here doing real workouts and stuff. Like this, this has some potential for sure. Oh, code 10, we got a stinker. We got two stinkers. Spritz, nope, it was just one. She was just infecting the other people around her. And it's one o'clock. Uh, not going to get the best return on this ad, but let's let's throw up the corner ad here. I don't even know where that one is. Do we... Hmm. Dude, if this expanded out... I One game I really miss is Denison. I need to go and see if that game's been updated. I check it every every couple... Like, weeks, every month or so. I don't think anything has been. But, like, if this, if this city was expanded out and you could, like, go out to the bar afterwards and talk to new clients, convince them to come to your gym, maybe go to other gyms and recruit people and stuff like that. There's, there's a lot of... A lot of cool things you could do with this. This panini has been sitting here for about three days. So there you go. Hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, make sure the bathroom is is in close proximity on that one. I just realized there are no toilets, are there? We've <laughs> we've got people waffle stomping it down the drain. There's no, you know, the, the, the protein, the creatine hits different. And we've got no place for people to go. I don't even think there's an option for people to go. And, and you know, I, I don't think we have, I don't think that's something that we can actually buy on the gym upgrade system which doesn't really make sense got a couple of people to check in here we got amy coming in for the vip that's what i'm talking about amy go amy good luck it's get, get big we've got uh, jamie amy and jamie coming in how far can we go vip for amelia can we go four for four come on lance base what do you have here standard his name's fabian instead of fabio all right um yeah if we go in we can go gym locker room you can buy saunas and spas, but you can't buy anything else. Uh, they're even in like uh, shop extras. Oh, we could buy the vending machine. We haven't bought this yet. So we're going to add this. I'm thinking a good spot for this is probably where this TV is. So let's put that in our inventory. We're going to build our vending machine right here. Make sure people can approach it. Are we going to have to... Dude, a vending machine simulator would be sick. Oh! <gasps> No, we, it kind of is a little bit. All right, we got a stinky girl here. Give you a spritz. We got a couple paninis, so we'll take care of this. We got our giant wolf dog in the way of everything. It's it's fine. It, he's just barking at me. I I love dogs, but if I was at a gym and there was just a giant giant dog walking around barking at people, I don't know if I would, I would want to frequent that establishment all that much. So we can go. I was wondering what all this other stuff in the supermarket was. We're going to be able to buy stuff off the shelves here. It's like this pro... That's a protein bar? That looks like milk. But okay, this is $3. And then can we set our prices and stuff? We unlocked level eight. New roof unlocked. You could buy the second gym now. Break the wall and enlarge the gym so you can break the wall. I'm going to buy some creatine. We're going to buy some lemon protein powder. We're going to buy coffee shots. We're going to buy snacks. I don't know how many spaces we have. We can buy some sodas. We can buy some orange juice. We can buy some coconut water. We're going to pretend like that's prime. And we're going to be able to fill our vending machine with this. Most of that was $3. Let's see what we're working with here. So we can we can just add all these. Looks like people are already buying it. So we're just we're just going to going to add everything we possibly can here. 
We definitely need to, to go back. And we're going to buy more stuff. We're going to keep this thing absolutely stocked up. But I love this. New source of revenue unlocked. That's what I'm talking about. Now we got some more people at the snack bar. I want to make sure. Cooper, you're in the way of the cups, please. I really regret adopting. I like the idea of... of being able to have a pet, but it's it's a little bit annoying. Standard membership. Come on, we just got a, a vending machine. You really don't want want the, the big deal? The big boy? I love that I have just been gallivanting around town doing whatever I wanted, and the, the gym is clean and, and equipment's taken care of, and we're just earning XP while we're just frolicking here. Can we put some dog food in there? That's probably high in protein, right? I bet there's some weird gym bros who would probably try to eat that. 34 grams of protein in this fat-free shake looking pretty good. We need to make sure we're stocked up on whey for our, our protein powder drinks. Just gonna grab all the, the water here as well. I'm gonna grab a bunch more sandwiches because we've been selling those. It's weird because I don't think you have an inventory in this game. So I, I'm, I could just literally buy out this entire store and it's just going to sit in our inventory. It's not going to go bad. And then we can just periodically, maybe after each day, completely fill up our vending machine. And it, there's, I mean, all this is $3. It's not like we're going to run out of money. So we've basically got unlimited funds and in inventory here. You thought I was joking too. I'm literally going to buy every single thing in here. All right. Shelves are empty. It'll be restocked tomorrow and we'll be back. The ultimate arbitrage here. Oh my goodness. All right. We've got a lineup of four. Let's see if we can go four for four on the VIPs. Everybody gets VIP. You get VIP. You get VIP. There it is. Two in a row. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if we can go three. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. VIP. Can we go four? I don't think we've done four yet. Come on. Standard. I don't know if you can go four for four. We've got more guys waiting on these. I mean, Coop's not dumb. He is hanging out next to the, the snack bar, so at least he's got that going for him. He's in the way of the, the things, though. And now we can... Let's just fill with everything that we have. Hopefully this lasts a decent amount, but people are coming and buying stuff before we can even get it out of our inventory. Should we get all that in there? Look at that. A fully stocked vending machine. That's what I'm talking about. Give you a little spritz there. And uh, I think things are looking pretty good. Making our way. We're level eight. We've got $18,000. Honestly, let's throw the sick roof on there. Hold on. Just give, give me a second. Uh, don't don't look at behind you. We're going to have some really fast uh, action on our, our construction. $10,000 for a glass roof. Why not? Look up at the sky. Reach for the stars. Shoot for the stars. Or shoot for the moon. Land amongst the stars. However the, the thing goes. We're going to have some really cringy... Um, sayings on our walls and stuff let's see what else the the glass front i feel like would be huge that's also ten thousand dollars which we can get right now let's go baby things have completely changed look at this sunset coming in the sun looks like it's it's coming through the buildings or something but it is beautiful and look at this swole hole never looked better we do need to make some money though because we need twenty five thousand dollars to open it up beat down these walls and make things even bigger. Holy cow. That's going to be absolutely insane when we do that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I think this is a good spot to stop this episode. I'm going to find a way to take Cooper to the pot. Just kidding. I mean, uh, I love him so much. And I would never do anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.